Shanti, a very welcome back to you, to all the listeners. Welcome back to Seek the Soul. The seat of the soul is over here, which is also known as Akal Takht. Seat of the soul, seat of every pure being, and the truth lies within. If you go in depth about who you are as a soul and not this body, you become more soul conscious. You become God or supreme soul conscious. So get to know the soul. Get to know the supreme soul. So in today's blessing, day number seven, we are here as servants of godly service, and God is the world server. He serves the whole world when he sees his children in despair, in pain, and suffering. And as you can see all around the world, there's a lot of despair, pain, and suffering. So God Father comes during this time, during the Iron Age, or during the during the Kali Yuga. He comes down on earth and gives us the wisdom. You see, God is an ocean of wealth. Which wealth? Knowledge is wealth. So God is an ocean of knowledge, the divine knowledge, the truth about who we are actually, who we have become, because we have forgotten who we actually are. We have become body conscious. We got divided into so many different castes, creed, religion, and races that we have forgotten the original source, the soul, the being which we are. So, if we consider ourselves to be a soul only, then can we receive the blessings from God the Father? So, when you are listening to this blessing, please consider yourself to be a soul. Forget about everything else. Even forget that I am who I am. My name as a speaker. the color of my skin what i am wearing just forget all those things that's not important it is important to think of me as a speaker as a soul when i am talking to you i think of you listeners as a soul only then the exchange of this wisdom can take place which is being given by god to me i am not the original owner of this wisdom so let's go ahead and let's see what blessings does god give today to us God as a world server says may you be constantly content that's the most important thing the wealth which people are looking for contentment and cheerful how to be cheerful throughout and do service even while renouncing your own rest haven't we gone through that experience recently during this pandemic we saw many health workers who were serving humanity and leaving the rest 24/7 they were working some of them over 72 hours in service to humanity now over there also there were souls who were of different variety and quality some of them were having contentment some of them were feeling cheerful when they were doing that service and some of them who didn't have so much of spiritual power in them or the intellect to understand things they were feeling tired sooner than the others the reason being understanding that when we serve others with the heart with truth we feel content and cheerful rather than thinking of it as a burden given by some of them are blaming god for that burden right which is a wrong impure thinking and that impure thinking made them more heavy with serving others so let's go ahead what and explain what god father explains to us and this word done blessing a server renounces his own rest day and night and experiences rest in service to others imagine that many saints have been spoken about as being world servers <clears throat> they were serving others day and night and feeling content and happy and blessed that god has given them that service to do so here too those who come into contact with such souls imagine you are that soul who is not seeking rest and you're serving others and anybody comes in contact with you what would they feel come into contact with such souls or who live with them or have a relationship with them experience closeness as though they are sitting under a spring of coolness power and peace they are amazed to look at their own relation relations who are working day and night some of them were amazed to see their own relatives in the health sector to see them working day and night and imagine them as being somebody without this pandemic they might be lazing around they might be not so happy in the job but then suddenly a duty call came 
and they felt it's God's work and they were they were completely engaged into that service completely now here we are talking about not the physical service that's important too but a spiritual service in which you are able to give them coolness powerful and peaceful experience they become servers with elevated characters kamadhenu kamadhenu actually if you go to wikipedia you'll understand it's a gau mata is the most elevated gau as a symbol of divinity in which it's been shown that the, all the deities with divine qualities reside within the cow itself no that has a spiritual essence to it not exactly that a, the deities reside in a cow but then that being or that soul who has got all the divine qualities of all the deities and milk being given by a cow is pure white is an example of purity and not just that milk gives us power so here we are actually taking that example in the sense of spiritual power the knowledge is powerful and pure which we receive from god and when we take it or when we absorb that milk or that uh, symbol of power or that symbol of knowledge which is pure from god we become powerful we get divinity so all these blessings are an example of that it makes us powerful so now they become servers with elevated characters kamadhenu they become like that we become like that as if all the divine qualities in us are coming from god the father when we meditating on him all his values and virtues being a father he's bestowing us with all those qualities all those powers to tolerate to have patience to be benevolent to be royal to be loyal to be accepting others and many more such powers the link is given in the in the in the description down below you can go through all the powers right so kam dhenu who fulfill everyone's desires not just physical desires in service spiritual desires for all time not just once remember in yesterday's blessing we spoke about you feed a person for one day or you teach him how to cook or you teach him how to farm you feed him throughout the life so this is a spiritual knowledge which feeds the soul throughout for all time such servers automatically listen carefully receive the blessings of remaining cheerful and content from whom firstly from god the father and secondly from all the souls whom they are serving you see kamdhenu has been shown if you go to wikipedia you'll see kamdhenu has been shown with a tail of a peacock peacock is a symbol of purity a national bird in india symbol of purity is been shown the peacock feather has been shown uh, as on the the plume has been shown on the crown of krishna which is a symbol of purity right and they have been showing uh two wings on kamdhenu now wings are seen on whom birds and angels so angel you give them peace power and coolness with the spiritual knowledge and you become an angel in their life then kamdhenu has been shown with breast the breast is a symbol of nurturing right so nurturing a mother gives nurturing so you become somebody like a mother when you take care of somebody not just when there was a pandemic or any other thing as a nurse but here we are talking about nursing the soul so you're helping somebody by giving them the divine pure knowledge of god that's the milk you become like an angel with the wings and peacock is a symbol of purity you're not giving that knowledge out of greed but you're giving that knowledge out of benevolence you don't need anything in return for that because what you'll get in return is the blessings of that soul so you become what you become cheerful and content forever so understand the symbol in the so called hindu religion the kamdhenu has got a has got a meaning of spirituality embedded into it so i leave you with this blessing today and may you imbibe this blessing in your life in every walk of life which you go through and experience thank you so much om shanti have a blessed day